got them plants that you pay for growing wild. <laughs> you go and you buy your birds of paradise for $20 and God got them in the bush in Dominica. Come on, say amen, somebody. I'll never forget, I see wild roses all over the street the other day in Nebraska and we paying $10 for one. His glory, he just put it up. Walk on the beach at 5 o'clock in the morning. Watch the sunrise. Just go by yourself. Let the Lord show off a couple of minutes. And tell you, paint that if you like. Matter of fact, he tell you, photograph that. The minute you photograph it, the photograph ain't no good because it changed. His beauty, his glory, what he's like is everywhere. Paul says, if a man never meant God, he still doesn't have an excuse because God speaks to him through nature. God tells you who he's like through his work. Can I hear an amen? amen? Turn to Psalm 24, please, quickly. Psalm 24. Everybody say the king's glory. It says, lift up your heads, verse, 20, verse 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you ever ancient doors, so that the king of what? Glory may come in. Who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. That means the owner. Praise God. Strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He is the king of glory. Who I want to just stay there for a couple of weeks and preach. Now, do you know who's writing this? A king. David is the richest king in the world because his son ain't king yet. His son became richer than he is. But here's David the king talking about another king. David says, now I know when I come in, I'm bad out there. You know, the gates of Jerusalem open for me, and I got, you know, the massive beauty of my great nation, and I got all this decorations, and all the power, all the wealth. I am the most powerful king in the world. I got my glory. He says, but there's another king I'm trying to figure out. He says, who is this king? He said, I, I know I got some heavy weights. I got the biggest army in the whole region. I've subdued all the nations. I've won every battle. I am the one who established the city of peace, Jerusalem. I am the great king. He said, but who is this king? David saw another king whose glory he could not calculate. Who is this king of full weight? Who made these heavens like this and just left them there for us to watch? Who sprinkled the flowers in the fields and left them there just to watch and they die in the morning? Who made birds that just glide without effort? Who can make fish with so many colors and then just left them there for us to enjoy and doesn't brag about them? This person, whoever did this, they got heavy weight. This is a weighty king. Y'all ought to say amen. Tell you neighbor, that's my papa. Let me tell you something. Whenever you're feeling a little depressed, go outside and take a walk. Y'all stay in these houses too much with things with man-made. Man-made that stereo. Don't look at that stereo. Go outside and walk along and look at some flowers and begin to bless yourself and say, that's my papa's work. Can I hear an amen? 